by uh, some form of addiction, whether it's watching TV or being on social media on Instagram or eating a lot of food or drinking too much or whatever it is, be kind to yourself, be loving to yourself because that is the starting point. Because from there, you're able to discern better than you're able to, to, to team up with yourself in a way yeah. and, and create the perfect plan that you will execute with your discipline. Because discipline after you love yourself and respect yourself and accept yourself will come naturally. Is yeah. that correct, brother? That, that's absolutely correct. I mean, discernment is making choices externally and internally without fear or judgment. That's the definition of discernment. So if you're not operating in discernment, you're operating with somebody else's version of reality. Guard your time fiercely. Be generous with it, but guard it with all the power you have. Quality is not an accident. It's always the result of the highest intentions. Start looking yourself in the mirror. Start writing down all the excuses you make. That's a, good, that's a good tool right there. That's a good lesson. Just start looking at all of the excuses you make for yourself every single day. Why am I not this? Why am I not? It's this person's fault. It's that person's fault. It's the government's fault. It's the, the dark agenda fault. It's the, the neighbor's fault. It's my dog's fault. Whatever, that, whatever it is, it's, there's an excuse. Everybody's got them. Find out what your excuses are and start to investigate it with discernment, not with fear, not with fear. And let me tell you, you know better than anyone. A gift consists not in what is done or given, but the intention of the giver or doer. That's an old quote. A gift consists not in what is done or given, but in the intention of the giver or doer. So take that energy. We all say, oh, it's not about the gift. It's about the intention. Well, if that's the case, start operating your life like it's a gift. That's why they call the, this moment the present, because it's a gift. Hmm. Did you see that word magic? Yes, yes, of course. Of course. Yeah. Course. It's like, it's so, it's so there in our face. It's, it's not complicated. It's not some like crazy algorithm. You know, it's, it's just, it's, it's a center point of gnosis. And once you have it, yeah, once you have it, you can start playing with magic and playing with science. And you know us, we like integrating both of those together, a scientific spiritual approach. Thank you so much, brother. I mean, I've enjoyed it very much. I hope everyone did too. Save this one. (laughs) And we will save this one for sure. I think we, we did a little summary, um, of, of our previous two lives in, yeah. in the last few minutes. And we are going to, I'm going to go through uh, some of the questions, uh, if you don't mind. So everyone here, please um, post your questions uh, right now in English. And then, um, and then I'm going to stay a little bit more um, after I say goodbye to, to Shavin. And I'm going to, to, to translate in Serbian and go through a little bit of a summary of what we have spoken about today for all our Serbian viewers. And I'm gonna answer your questions in Serbian as well. So please do post questions in English right now for, uh, for Shervin and, and I. Thank you, brother. I had a uh, fantastic time as always. I just wanna make the announcement that we're gonna um, let you guys know ahead of time what our next conversation is gonna be about. Yes. So you can have the intention of being ready for it and having clarity so you can receive very, very um, smoothly. That's my, that's my intention here. And I'm excited to going deeper and deeper into the cosmic science alchemy of life. That's, um, Beautiful. that's the best gift I can give. So there is a question here from Austin James. Thank you, Austin. How do you find your intention? Yeah. Okay, do you want me to answer that? Well, yes, sure. Okay. So. For me, it's through removing things outside of me that are telling me I'm supposed to be something that I'm not. And so just really reflect on your life. Start looking at some of the decisions you've made and life incidents that have occurred 
that have shifted you and shaped you into who you are today and start and start to meditate on those moments and ask yourself am i a result of those incidents or is this truly who i am today once you start getting clarity on why you have a certain perspective then you can start figuring out what your intention is here and also don't pre don't create pressure there's no there's no need to be pressure like oh my god that, you know, these guys haven't figured out or these women haven't figured out and I'm just lost. That pressure creates stress. It releases cortisol. All of a sudden your body goes acidic and there's no way you're going to find your divine intention. This is the good, good part to get strategic and to also surrender. So strategize, figure out how you became who you are today and then have faith and relax into it and surrender to your path and journey. And it doesn't have to be one thing. It can't be my intention is to be this. No, we are dynamic beings. I'm involved in thousands of different projects that have different aspects to them, but they all generally have the same theme. And that theme is to create heaven on earth and to create heaven with people and to embody a love frequency. So you have that theme but you can be up, you can be doing diff different things. Now, again, to be clear, I don't want people to be spread so thin that they can't master something. But when, but a general question like, how do I find my intention? That can't be one straight thing. It has to be a little bit more deep, and it has to encompass an energy versus a single item. Mm -hmm. So it's not about your career. Right. It's not about that. It's intention is way deeper. Your career is a product of your intention. Right. Just like being successful is not a product of reaching the success, but it's about the journey of doing what you love. Right. The side effect of having a strong, healthy, physical body. That's the side effect of doing things that are good for you. And that you love to do it because you understand it. That's so I, I set the intention every day that I'm going to be the healthiest version of myself. Mm -hmm. And I'm also going to have compassion for yesterday. I'm not going to be mad at, the, at myself. That's so important to not get down on yourself. To love yourself more than anything out there. You have to love beyond and you have to recognize yourself. That's the best advice I can give, brother. That's beautiful, brother. We got, we got time for, let's do another question. Um, basically, these two questions are kind of fused into one. Uh, okay. how, to, how to control negative emotions, anger. Uh, that's from Gina16. Thank you, yeah. Gina. How to find motivation. That's, that's one. And the other one is from Tinted Tales. Uh, most important habits to develop. So how do you... When you're upset, when you're angry, you have so, when you have the flood of negative emotions and sadness, how do you find motivations? And then I think which is linked to that, how, what are the important habits to develop so that you don't get yourself in that state of mind too often? Of course, it is almost impossible to avoid it. Everyone will have to accept that we will go back to that state. Yeah. But how do we recover faster? You know, I actually, uh, one, yeah. one of my uh, uh, friends who uh, loves to go uh, to um, uh, Zen temples in, uh, in France, and he's been going there for, for many years, and he's a, a Zen master teacher. Uh, you know, he, he's, been, he's, he's been so peaceful and so calm and so serene that everyone was asking him, like, how do you reach that serenity? I mean, sure. how does you know, there's this life and everything that is happening in the world, all the wars and like even things on a daily basis that does not upset you, you being late or something not happening. How, yeah. how do you keep calm? How yeah. are you in harmony at all times? And he says, I'm not. I just recover fast. Yeah, and, and, and you yeah. can train yourself. And, and let me answer that question before you do, brother, because I keep on going. I'm sorry, but... No, no, please keep going. This is good. Habits, the important habits to develop, in my opinion, which link to how to motivate yourself, yeah. is, is first, you, ha you, you, you have an intention. And you, tr you have to train yourself. You have to, be, you have to believe in your power that you 
are not your mind, you're not your ego that constantly tells you that you are, you're bad, you're wrong, you're ugly, you're incapable, you're small and stuff like this. That's yeah. not you, okay? You have to be able to understand that you are blessed being that is capable and powerful enough to create magic in this world. So this first has to happen where you have internal conversation and you train yourself that this internal conversation goes the positive way. First, you have to win that battle. You have to tell yourself, okay, I have an intention. I'm feeling pretty bad. I'm sad. I'm upset. I'm angry. I'm, uh, I have the victim mentality. Everyone is against me. Everything in life happens against me and so forth. I'm, I'm, I'm unlucky, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So everyone on some level goes through that. We go yeah. on that, we all that go almost that. on a daily basis. But you have to uh, uh, accept and embrace the training, mental training that goes with it that will allow you to first set the clear intention, have the mental clarity that, listen, okay, I, I accept the fact that I'm feeling this way, but I know for a fact that I don't want to feel this way. I want to feel happy. I want to yeah. be joyful. I want to be peaceful. I want to be loving myself. I want to love others. I want to share. I want to help. I want to be compassionate. I want to be genuine. I want to be generous. All these different things. Because 99.9% .9 of people on this planet, when you ask them what is the most important thing in your life, regardless of whether you're material or not material, whatever, spiritual, not spiritual, you're going to say it's health and family, right? Yeah, so absolutely. everyone wants to have health and family. But how many people percentage of people on this planet actually live the life of being yeah. healthy and being happy. So you got to ask yourself that question. Have the clarity first. Win that internal battle. When you know, write it down. As Shervin was saying, write it down. Believe that when the words are written down, that this has energy and this is affecting your subconscious level, that Bruce Lipton, Jones Dispenza, all these amazing people have been beautifully explaining that in their books, in their videos. Everything, uh, uh, all your 100% of your human experience out of 100%, 100%, 95% of your daily human experience is subconscious. So subconscious programs run your life, 5% is conscious. So you have to train yourself to reprogram yourself to say, okay, today I'm going to say good morning to everybody. I'm going to say, I'm going to give compliments to, to the close ones. I'm not, I'm going to give smiles to everyone, even though I don't feel it. Uh, the first day, it's going to feel fake. It's not going to feel natural, but... Fake it till you make it. Fake exactly. it till you make it. Exactly, make it till yeah, you yeah. make it, because you have to reprogram. It has to be a daily habit, a daily routine. Everything is repetition. As much as we are souls, we are robots as well. As, as rough as that sound, as, as this word sounds, we are mechanical beings as much as we are spiritual beings so we have to repeat we have to get into this uh, routines on a daily basis with meditation with prayer work with exercise for mind body and soul and and one the smallest things in life making your bed in the morning having your your space where you live clean uh caring about what you what you consume what you put into your body understanding how that affects your health all of these things affect the motivation on a daily basis sorry brother thank you for your patience what do you Wait. mean you got to stop saying sorry to me i am <laughs> I, I i'm receiving it i'm i'm paralleling you with com complete perfection i actually think our next subject before we get into more items should be the subconscious and because yes. we can go deep into how the subconscious brain works, how the theta brain works, how children operate, why children are so impressionable, and why so many adults are living out there completely operating with bad programs that they received as a child. Absolutely. Our convictions stay with us. We know that. Everything we believe will manifest in our life, regardless of if it's the best ever, if it's healing, if it's an illness, if it's unforeseen success, whatever it is. Whatever our convictions are will happen. It happens whether it involves our anxieties or our deepest desires. It will manifest. And the more we believe that we are separated from everything around us, that we are powerless to taking a stance against things, that we are victim, that we do not 
understand our body, that we are random, that none of this matters, that our life is worthless, that we don't have an influence on whether we are healthy or sick, that we are not do anything in life, that's going to happen. That's the, you're, you're, how else would anything happen if that's your mentality? That's not even cosmic anymore. That's just material law of attraction. You know, if you feel that these ways, that's what you're going to attract in your world. If you feel the opposite, you're going to go after getting healthy. You're going to bring people in your life that are vibrating at the same um, oscillation, which is a DNA field of resonance. That is a, that's a known fact. That's the center point of all meditation. That's the center point of all religion. All religion is based on that. You, you have belief in faith. So why not have faith in yourself? <laughs> like, how did we lose that? So in order to get there, we got to understand the subconscious programming. That's why I always say, throw your television out the window because it's telling you a vision. It's a TV program, okay? All of the mainstream stuff, all of the stuff that's getting, that's misaligning your intention with fear, pain, frustration, toxicity, gossip, all of those things are controlling your entire faculties. It's developing how you look at the world. Of yeah. course, if you see that stuff and you're get indoctrinated with that kind of crap, that's the crap that you're going to see. You're not going to see the beauty. You won't see the hawk flying around your house and see the beauty in that. You're not going to see the person at the re cash register and the, and the energy that they have. You're just looking at everyone is out to get you and everyone's full of crap. You are what you eat. You are what you absorb. So all of these things are dictating this. And I think our next conversation is getting into how to remove those subconscious programmings by explaining how they're wrapped up in there. That's huge. Once we, so we talked about intention. We talked about discipline. A lot of it got deleted, but it's in the ether right now. And we did a little bit good on this live. Now on the next one, it's about subconscious programming, positive and negative. Then from there, how we, how we raise children. This is what I thrive on. My background, if you don't know me, is biodynamics and Waldorf education. I'm considered an incarnated Rudolf Steiner in a Persian, Persian body. And my life's legacy is to remove the programs from people's faculties and to give them the keys back to their own life. That's, that's what I do. You know, all the other stuff with symbiotica and nutrition and all those, those were all extensions of that center, of removing the subconscious programming and actually showing people the science on how powerful it is. And it's no wonder we're in this position we are today in this world. And that's what being a freedom fighter is all about. That's what being a warrior is all about. And that's my intention in this life. My intention is to wake people to fake up. And I'm, I'm very passionate about it. I have no I have no time for any energies that are not operating on that system. And I have compassion for those that have been left behind. And with, with what we're doing, this is, my, this is my life. And I'm excited to write a book with you. I'm excited to create the most incredible documentary with you where we bring in the most beautiful people in the world and we cultivate the most incredible round table of magic and we give people their freedom back. And again, this is all momentum based. It's not going to happen tomorrow. It's not going to happen this. We got to create momentum. We got to start winning the little things. So what I said in the first talk between you and I, start looking yourself in the mirror and start asking yourself, who's programming my thoughts? Who's programming my emotions? What am I doing to serve myself today? And what excuses have I been telling myself every single day my entire life? This is coming to the ultimate truth. That, you know, that Maya, that illusion is gone today. We move forward with full power. I love you. Love you too, I love brother. You. Thank you so much. I, I've truly, truly enjoyed this. It's my honor, man. And it's my uh, honor. I think that we should also get into some concrete, specific uh, routines on breathing, uh, oh, yeah. meditation, prayer work, yeah. um, um, uh, ritual programming, ritual, mental ritual. training, yeah. subconscious reprogramming, yeah. just some concrete techniques that will allow yeah. people to really 
understand what they need to do on a daily basis and, and test it, experiment, and understand how that affects them. So we exactly. are going to do that. It's what you just said. That's, the, that's it. Test it. Experiment yes. it. You start using your brain. We're, we're, we're not using our brain. We're just like, go, go, da, 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 da. And we don't review and analyze the experience. That's yeah. another Rudolf Steiner principle. It's called the philosophy of freedom. Well, how do you get into super sensible knowledge? You look at the data of your experience. You start taking notes in your mind. You write them down. You look at experiences. You look at perspectives. Let's, this is discipline. This is reverence. This is what it takes. We want the easy way out. We want self-gratification. We want to eat food that tastes good, that's chemical-laden, filled with sugar. We want to watch TV, we want, you know, these, these things. No, 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 no. We got to get back to becoming a constructive samurai soldier, a ninja, a balanced yogi, all of these things. We can do it. And we're going to lay it all out there. Because yeah. your practice is so amazing, what you do, and, and I know what I do. We're going to lay it all out there. We're going to create the formula. And I see that being the, the, the center point of our first book together is basically the blueprint. And, and that blueprint is the path to self-mastery. <laughs> this is it. Here we go. Brother, thank you so much. It's an I honor. Wish you a it's an honor. Day. I wish you all the love in the world, brother. Thank you I for see sharing you. this wonderful energy with gratitude. us today in college. I have so Appreciate much gratitude you. for you, brother. I have so much gratitude for your country. And I want to say I have so much gratitude for Iran. I have so much gratitude for everybody who's joining us from around the world. It is truly our honor to do this. This is the, the gift that keeps on giving. And I hope everybody understands that this is just our perspective. Take this information and do whatever you want with it. Meditate on it. Reflect on it. If it resonates, great. If it doesn't, go do the next thing. <laughs> Beautifully said, brother. Thank you so much. And a big hug to Jamie and everyone and David. I'll see you soon. We love you, brother. Take we care. Love you too. Take care. Bye. So there we go. Uh, I'm, I'm very, very grateful to Shervin for spending his time and energy and, and the obvious passion that uh, he has for uh, the health and the planet and people and um, sharing and conveying and interacting with this knowledge that he has um, acquired over the years and the practice most most importantly because one thing is to have one thing is to have the the the, the intelligence and to understand uh, something in theory but the other thing is actually to fully complete it with practice so that's what he does that's what I respect about him very, very much. Um, so uh, I would like to just say in Serbian, actually, for anybody following in English, thank you so much. I'm just going to, just going to finish in Serbian uh, and, and give a little summary of what we, uh, what we, what we talked about. Or actually, so, sorry. Sorry.